We are gonna make a video right now, which is me and you, and you, okay? Okay. All right, say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. guys Rob Realistic coming at you from a new scenery as you can tell we moved that's why I haven't made any videos recently this is the new garage setup um, it's not exactly put together the way I would want it but well I mean it is but it is and it's not it's definitely gonna get rearranged but you know air compressor in a corner mini refrigerator you know, and all my cabinets, a workbench. A couple of things I've done to the pickup truck. So you guys remember the video that I had when the bed was off, I showed you guys the suspension, how it looked like somebody lowered it and then raised it. It had these blocks that were on it. Well, I went ahead and decided to tear apart the rear end and remove those blocks to see how low the truck would sit. So I don't know if you guys can rem remember of how the truck sat before. But now it's sitting a little bit lower. The wheel's kind of tucked up underneath the ass end here. That would be cool, but the front end, if you look at the gap of the tire, it's way, way high comparison to this. A lot of people like the level look where it looks like the truck's kind of squatting in the back. I don't, I prefer a rake in the front. You know, it's a little bit, the back's higher. When I tore all this stuff apart, I pulled off the U-bolts and the leaf springs that are underneath there are completely shot. Like, they were torn apart and springs were removed. And this side has four leafs and the other side has three only. And the truck leans to the right and <clears throat> I had to put it all back together because I had to get the truck rolling again. So it actually does roll. I have it all good. I mean, it's it's fine. I took it for a test drive and everything, but I just didn't feel comfortable driving it, knowing that the leaf springs are not held together with anything. <clears throat> what I mean by that is there's nothing holding them from the back or the front. See, like it's got this bracket here. That's to keep it from the leaf springs from, from sliding away from one another. The other side doesn't have any of them whatsoever. And the back on this one doesn't have any. So what I did is went ahead and got one of my buddies. Um, his name is Eddie. He's the one that did the, uh, the interior headliner and visors for the truck. He had a set of these leaf springs for sale. These are the leaf springs I purchased from him. They've got four leaves each. As you can see, they have the brackets. The bushings are good. 
from what I could tell. Um, I went ahead and replaced the, some bolts. They had some really long bolts in them before, which made no sense <laughs> whatsoever. And if you know leaf springs, this part sits in a little hole on the bottom plate of the axle, um, which this would be too long. So <clears throat> I think they wanted to cut it, but then you have the nut. So what I did is I took an Allen head, which is round, it'll sit inside that hole. Um, a little bit better than a nut would. So um, these are gonna end up going into that and hopefully it'll raise the rear end just slightly, maybe about an inch to where it, it looks about the same. Well, there you have it. It took me about, I don't know, about two hours to completely pull out the old springs and put in the new ones. So these were supposed to be lowering springs, but they're not. Um, <laughs> the guy that sold them to me, I, I told him I didn't want the front springs because I could tell that they're not lowering springs. The rears, they're kind of hard to tell, but um, this definitely took it back up to the height that I want. So essentially I'm getting the same look that I had before I pulled out those blocks with a more secure foundation. So what I mean is it's got springs in it without the blocks and I'm getting the same height. So that's just spring on axle and that's the look I'm getting versus spring on axle with a block. And then that makes it actually the truck a little bit more swayy. And then also the truck doesn't lean one way or another. So it fixed the lean and fixed the ride height and it made me more secure on the way I would feel driving this down the highway. And it drives like a truck. And the gap between the front wheel is pretty much the same. I mean, it's a little bit, it could go lower just a tad bit, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I actually like it. I like it the way the ass end looks. I like it when it's raked. I don't like it. This is the final, this is, the, this is it, this is the final uh, height of the truck, this is what's going to be. I'm not going to do anything else to it. I'm going to fix the front so suspension stock height. I'm not going to do any drops, um, but that'll be uh, later, later in the future. So there you go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I hope you guys enjoy taking a look at the new shop slash garage, and uh, we'll get more into that later, but all right, guys, peace.